all right folks welcome back to the next episode of fci physics for you today we're going to be talking more about newtonian mechanics uh and doing question number three of force concept inventory uh but before we get into that let's uh let me talk about our sponsor billion so uh, billion supports us on all of our uh goals including uh, educating the world so if you want to support Barry Science Lab, go ahead and wait until the end of the video and hit that uh, like button and subscribe button. But also uh, click on the Brilliant link, brilliant.org slash Barry Science Lab. Uh, if you do that, you'll get 20% off the premium subscription. Uh, and you'll also be supporting Barry Science Lab, not just Brilliant. So uh, go ahead and make sure you do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and do question number three uh, on the force concept inventory. So what do we have here? A stone dropped from the roof of a single story building falls to the surface of the earth. Okay, sure. And what are the choices? Number one, it reaches a maximum speed quite soon after release and then falls at a constant speed thereafter. So really we're talking about the VT graph, the velocity time graph. That's what I'm, I'm thinking. So let me draw that graph for you. So we have a velocity a velocity time graph right here okay so choice a is telling us the the stone is dropped so that means it starts from rest so it's going to start from the origin right here and it reaches a maximum speed soon after release and after that the speed is constant so that's choice a okay that's choice a uh, next one, choice B, um, uh, the stone speeds up as it falls because the gravitational attraction gets considerably stronger as the stone gets closer to the earth. So it's telling us that the stone speeds up, basically, All right? So um, because the gravitational attraction, so is that talking about the force? Because the force, the gravitational force on an object always remains the same. Doesn't matter how close or far the object is. Um, so let me let me tell you what I mean. If you have the ground here and you have the object, the force on the object is always just going to be mg, right? Because the distance from the object to the Earth is is so small. I mean, sure, you can do g m1 m2 over r squared. Then the distance matters. But as long as you're under like a certain amount of distance, then you can still you don't have to consider the height. So you don't have to consider the height, right? So at a certain low level, as long as you're basically under the atmosphere, um, the 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 force of, of on an object exerted by gravity is always going to be mg when you start getting to large distances uh, hundreds of thousands of miles then distance matters but when you're when you're appreciably close to the surface of the earth distance is no longer a consideration uh, ju it's just mass and and the acceleration due to gravity okay so with that being said um it's we've definitely eliminated choice b Okay, because the gravitational force does not grow stronger when you're very close to the surface of the Earth. The gravitational force is the same. That's why acceleration is constant. Remember, if force if force was increasing, then so would acceleration. So your velocity curve would look something like this, and your distance curve would look like God knows what, maybe a, a cubic. So yeah, that's not happening anytime soon. Um, so choice B is out. How about choice C? How about choice C? Um, let me highlight this with the lasso select so we can make this red for choice B. Choice C tells us that the ball speeds up because of an almost constant force of gravity acting upon it. And that would be right, yes. Um, because the acceleration is constant, the velocity would be linear, something like that. That's choice C. Um, and that's exactly right. The force of gravity is constant. It doesn't get huge as soon as you reach the surface. No, that doesn't make sense. Um, so that would be choice C. Let's take a look at the other choices just for fun. 
Uh, choice D, the object falls because of a natural tendency of all objects to rest on the surface of the earth. And that's what Aristotle said, uh, that objects have a natural tendency, uh, but balls don't have brains, basically. Uh, so they don't have any natural tendencies. Uh, so yeah, Aristotle was wrong there, and that's why choice D is wrong. And finally, the stone drops um, and it falls because of the combined effects of the force of gravity pushing it downward and the force of the air pushing it downward. Um, you have no clue, there was no clue in the problem that the air currents were pushing the ball downward. That, that's, a, that's a very contrived claim. So uh, yeah, that means our answer is C. Um, the force of gravity is constant, so the velocity is linear, and so the distance is um, parabolic. Not exponential, parabolic. Okay, not exponential. Uh, because the integral of a linear function is a quadratic. Uh, so, yeah, that's it for question number three of the force concept inventory. Hopefully that cleared up some misconceptions for you. Uh, but before you exit this video, remember, wait. Click on the link after this video. Uh, make sure you make sure you subscribe to Brilliant. Make sure you subscribe to Barry Science Lab. Uh, just go to brilliant.org/barryscienceLab for 20% off the annual subscription. Uh, and that's pretty much it, folks. Uh, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And we'll check you out next time. Ambition plus MKO plus scaffolding equals learning. We believe anyone can learn anything. That's why our motto is memorization is a crime. And that's why we partnered with Brilliant. Brilliant transforms math and science into hands-on activities so that you too can understand everything from first grade math to E equals MC squared. Barry Science Lab and Brilliant is your MKO and will give you the scaffolding to expand your ZPD until you become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. Visit brilliant.org slash Barry Science Lab today. The first 50 of you to use that link will get a 20% discount on the Brilliant annual subscription. Don't, Don't forget, forget that, that you too can, can become, become the, the next Einstein. Einstein. So, so let's, let's fall in love, love with math and science. science.